Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Today, I'm going to explain a movie named A Cure for Wellness. This movie revolves around a character named Lockhart. He used to work in a large financial company and was willing to do anything for money. One day, his company sends him a letter stating that he must travel to Switzerland for a few days to find their CEO who is at a remote hospital in the mountains. The CEO does not want to return which surprises everyone at the company. Lockhart is given the responsibility of bringing the CEO back. Once in Switzerland, Lockhart hires a car and instructs the driver to take him to the wellness center situated high above in the mountains. Along their way, someone throws something on their car, dirtying their windshield. The driver explains that this is a part of the local traditions which date back 200 years. Eventually, they arrive at the wellness center. Lockhart arrives at the wellness center and observes that people seem content, mostly between the ages of 50 to 55. He approaches the receptionist to meet his CEO who is there for treatment, but he is told that the visiting hours were from 11 to 3 and he missed the chance. Despite requesting the nurse to allow him to meet the CEO, he is denied and asked to come back tomorrow. Frustrated, Lockhart tries to call his company but due to the poor signals, the call doesn't connect. He wanders around the wellness center and encounters a doctor drinking from a small bottle. Curious about the medicine, Lockhart inquires and learns it's a vitamin supplement. He shares the purpose of his visit with the doctor who schedules a meeting for the next morning. On his way back to the hotel, Lockhart encounters a peculiar girl standing in front of the fort. Later, while driving, they have an accident with a deer suddenly crosses the path. Lockhart regains consciousness after three days, finding himself in the wellness center with a leg plaster. Dr. Volmer, who treated him, informs Lockhart that his company has been notified about the accident and that he must leave after he is fully healed. During their conversation, Dr. Volmer mentions the magic in the water at the center and advises Lockhart to drink as much as possible for a speedy recovery. Following the advice, Lockhart notices a small insect in the glass while drinking but does not pay much attention to it. As days pass, Lockhart explores the wellness center and observes that all the visitors there seem to be happy. While taking a bath, Lockhart unexpectedly encounters the CEO of his company, the person he came to bring back with him. Lockhart informs the CEO about his purpose but faces resistance as the CEO refuses to leave with him. Lockhart explains the consequences of the CEO's decision, emphasizing the company may suffer significant losses and even enclosure. After much persuasion, the CEO finally agrees to go with Lockhart. The following day, Lockhart asks the nurse to call for a car for departure. However, they are told to wait for a while until a car arrives. In the meantime, Lockhart steps outside and meets a girl named Hannah, whom he had seen earlier at the fort. Hannah reveals that once someone comes to the wellness center, they cannot leave on their own will. And this surprises Lockhart. Returning inside, Lockhart searches for the CEO, but he is nowhere to be found, even in his room. Concerned, Lockhart seeks for Dr. Walmer and inquires about the CEO's whereabouts. Dr. Walmer informs that the CEO cannot be taken away yet, as his treatment is still ongoing. Suddenly, Lockhart experiences a nosebleed and loses consciousness upon seeing it. Upon re Gaining consciousness, Lockhart finds Dr. Walmer treating him and advising him to stay at the wellness center for a few days for treatment. Though skeptical, Lockhart agrees to stay. When Walmer leaves, Lockhart seizes the opportunity to steal his CEO's file. As his treatment commences, he's placed in a large water chamber with an oxygen pipe and must stay submerged for 30 minutes while being supervised by a doctor. During the treatment, the doctor gets distracted by a nurse and Lockhart faces an unsettling situation as fish surround him in the water, causing his oxygen mask to come off. He struggles to get out, prompting the doctor to intervene and dismiss the incident as a hallucination. Afterward, Lockhart is sent to his room where he tries to make sense of the CEO's file, but it only proves to be confusing. The next day, he seeks advice from an old woman, another patient at the wellness center. She reveals a disturbing story of the place where 200 years ago, the king conducted experiments on the people. The town below them reportedly found numerous corpses, leading them to believe that the deaths were the result of king's experiments. Before departing with the worker, the old woman cryptically warns Lockhart about the darkness of the place and how nobody ever returns from coming here. Lockhart's suspicion grows stronger and he becomes determined to investigate what is truly happening in the town below the mountains. He decides to venture there to uncover the truth. On his way, he meets Hannah again, who offers to take him to the bar on her cycle. At the bar, Lockhart suggests having alcohol, but Hannah prefers water with a small bottle hanging around her neck, explaining it contains vitamins, which everyone in the area consumes. Lockhart recalls the doctor's explanation from earlier, confirming that it is the same substance. Leaving Hannah momentarily, Lockhart searches for a doctor in the town, but only finds a veterinarian. Even though the vet examines the CEO's medical report and remarks on his deteriorating condition, Lockhart is unable to gain substantial insights. Meanwhile, at the bar, when Hannah is left alone, some boys arrive and bother her. As Lockhart tries to defend Hannah from the boys, he finds it challenging due to the plaster on his legs. Dr. Volmer intervenes, saving them from the altercation and takes them back to the wellness center. Volmer expresses anger at Hannah for going out alone. In his room, Lockhart notices that one of his teeth is broken, making him suspicion that the experiments being conducted on him might take a role. Feeling uneasy, he begins to investigate further, leading him to a room where deceased bodies are stored in chambers, including the body of the CEO. Walmer catches Lockhart in the room and scolds him for intruding. Lockhart's companions forcefully extract his teeth and he manages to escape, fleeing in the car. He heads straight to the police station where he reveals the dark truth about the wellness center, informing them about the experiments conducted on people, including the bodies he witnessed. He also informs everything about the CEO. However, the police inspector seemed disinterested and does not take his claim seriously. During this encounter, Lockhart notices that Walmer possesses the same vitamin bottle he saw with Hannah earlier. 
Walmer arrives at the police station with the supposedly dead CEO perplexing Lockhart. Walmer manipulates the situation, presenting Lockhart as a mental patient and requests the officer to let him go, claiming that Lockhart has a mental illness. Lockhart starts to feel unwell, realizing that he needs treatment too. One day, while lost in thought, he removes his leg plaster and discovers you can walk properly. He ventures into an experiment room and finds horrifying pictures of fish that eat humans alongside a pool of water where the old woman's body is dead. Hannah also feels disturbed and confides in Dr. Walmer, who considers her as her own daughter. Lockhart raises an alarm, accusing Walmer of experimenting on and killing people, but nobody believes him, considering themselves as patients. They capture Lockhart and place him in a filter chamber, where Walmer explains that the water they consume is the sweat of residents, granting them to extended lifespan. Hannah is revealed to be all grown up and set to marry Walmer. Lockhart, feeling responsible for her, decides to uncover the truth and learns from the book that Walmer is the same king from the story. Walmer's sister was his wife, and Hannah is their daughter. Walmer forcefully marries and confines Hannah, prompting Lockhart to intervene. During their confrontation, Walmer's true face is unveiled, terrifying Lockhart. A fire breaks out during the struggle and Hannah strikes Walmer with an axe, killing him. Lockhart and Hannah escape from the burning hospital where the mentally unstable patient stands. Lockhart decides to stay with Hannah, declining the offer of returning to the company. The story concludes with a sinister smile on Lockhart's face, indicating the success of Walmer's experiment. He is now set to live with Hannah for 200 years and the story ends here. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, do consider subscribing. Bye guys.